Ooh, what's up guys, and thanks for joining for another battle from Little League. Today we're going against the War Gym, or Syed, and let me just say this. This guy is the reason I do this. <laughs> no, but really, uh, this guy is definitely my toughest challenge in this whole league, really, because my Pokemon are not built for... Well, for this type of pressure, let's be honest with you, and it really comes to show here. Um, I can't do too much against the War Gym because both my Gigalith, Bugra, and my Raw Inferior are immensely weak to water. And the only thing really walling that is Mantine and Mega Manitric, and Dewblade is just there to cover it. So this was basically what I was going as my first video, where I said that I wasn't too uh, too glad with my team because I did foresee this weakness and uh, I just realized it too late. But I still put up a good fight here and it was actually a very entertaining battle right to the very end. And looking at his team, it's very very heavily offensive with both Greninja, Swampert, Asimaril, Gyarados, um, what's that called, Politoed and Scrotum. And I did expect him to either stop with uh, Totodile, Totodile, the Politoed, or the Greninja, and my Mantine can wall everything that he can put out for. So anyway, enjoy guys. So right, like I said, Mantine first off here, and yeah, I really started as a golden opportunity really to uh, set up in worst case scenario. But he starts off with Rotom, so I'm just thinking, alright, you can start with Rotom. I do expect him to go from Thunderbolt to Volt Switch, just gonna activate my Lightning Rod. He does a very good prediction, and of course go into the Will-O-Wisp, and that genuinely sucks for me, because um, <laughs> that was not what I wanted. Anyway, I have Hidden Power Grass, and uh, I did a right prediction here, and Mega Evolve, and actually after that decides, of course, to go for the Hidden Power, but had I got the Lightning Rod that I wanted to, I might actually have killed this guy, but sadly he do survive. But I do expect him to sack this poke, so I decided to, uh, whatever, just do it. So, I, for a second I did thought about going into a Thunderbolt in case he decides to um, preserve it. So at least my Mega Manectric is doing some work here. The rolling is back on. I actually decided to hard switch out um, and go into Solgo. Hope for him to go for Hydro Pump. Uh, he over <laughs> I over predicted a little bit too much there. He went for Volt Switch just getting something out there, and that's very, very good. So here's the Asimaril. And uh, I really was fearing this guy is going to go for play rough because it is in the range of taking me out. So I decided to switch out to my ether. And he goes for the belly drum. God damn it. I've been in this position before and it's really, really frustrating. So at this point, I'm just going to go for an honor hand, you know, getting some damage off. The waterfall will almost kill my evil light uh, dew blade there. And of course, the. Um, Arna is not doing too much. I do expect to go for another Waterfall or Aqua Jet. So I get some recovery there. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop the video right here. I made a terrible mistake here. I didn't know my Mantine outspeed Vasimaril. So I should definitely have gone for a Toxic. And uh, I didn't do that. I. Sorry guys, I didn't do it. And uh, I paid a very, very high price for this because I didn't know my math did out speed. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. And sorry, guys, um, I had no chance from this moment, really. So this awesome rule will just take out everything on my team, really. And uh, the reason I went to Bugra here was to get the Sandstorm up. Plus, I did hope for him go for Play Rock because I can survive that with 90 to 97 percent. Um, but he went for the Waterfall, and uh, this is the problem with my team, really. It can't deal with uh, water types. It has yeah, such a huge weakness, really. So, Mantine is my last poke, and um, this is the moment where I find out that I'm able to outspeed. And uh, the only thing I can say don't go into battles right after a long day at work. Um, I should definitely, you know, this type of po or this type of trainer or side, I mean, he's a very, very competitive battler. And he is easily up there with Birdlet on this league. So I should definitely have um, prepared myself much better. Just going in blindly against this game really, really made sure that you made short work of me. So sorry guys that you didn't get to see much more of this battle. That has some real sweep through my team. And uh, well, what can I say? I hope for a rematch soon, but uh, I had no, no, nothing to uh, stop him with. 
What the fuck just happened? Well, I lost, that's for sure. Actually, Seed is a very, very good battler. I'm not gonna take that away from him, but I definitely have one of the worst prediction plays ever in any game, really. I had, <laughs> I had nothing to do against this guy. And um, the worst call is, of course, that my Mantine did outspeed him, because that would actually meant that even though we went for a play rough, he, I would still have him toxic. And yeah, I I really don't know what I did there. I, I'm an idiot. Because he would have gone for play rough and that was the case. And I was switching my dew blade and that's respect to Manta because of course go for a water attack move. I would just stall him out and I got protected by Mega Manectric. My Mega Manectric could have taken out a lot of his pokes. Probably only take, probably not taken out Jardos, but other than that, can easily Oko the rest of his team. So. I don't know why I didn't do that, and that meant so much for the game, like a lot. So I'm so frustrated that I couldn't stop this guy, and I really feel that I should have done it much better, but I didn't. I, I, I couldn't focus, and I lost as a result. So I hope you guys learned something from this. Don't play like me, because my Mantine is supposed to beat this guy, and I just... I choked! <laughs> so yeah, um, I mean, like I said guys, a lot of props to my battler here. It's the Vertilet's little brother, so he definitely comes to show there's a good competitive battler. And I probably shouldn't battle right after work, because I seem to stress myself up much more than I need to. And uh, I'm just beating myself up right now because I'm so frustrated I couldn't win. Um, so yeah. I don't know guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, hope you had a blast watching me lose here, like, oh my god, <laughs> oh, the agony, <laughs> no, but really, um, I'll make sure to rebattle this guy, of course, I should try to battle him one day when I'm off work, so I might be in a better, uh, better mentally state than, uh, you know, running home to not, you know, the timing before he gets to sleep, so, yeah. I don't want to lose. Ah, oh, man, I can't get over this. <laughs> no, but anyway, guys, I hope you like this. I hope you got a good laugh with it at least. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.